Russian is Boris. Get out of the car. As we can see in example number one, Nico Bellic obviously not Russian. Didn't say suka blat even once. Welcome to Russian lessons with Boris. You see, friends, Russians speak very easy. As they say, once you learn the bad words of a language, then you'll know almost half of it. Well, in case of Russian, you know all of it. And now the challenge is to learn all those words. But friends, don't worry, that's what I'm here for. For beginners, I suggest go to fridge, get vodka, get wasted and then learn. Trust me, it's the best way. For you see, drinking vodka, it activates the Slovenian molecules in your brain. This way, you absorb language much better. So lesson number one, let's start with some words. Maybe something you would use every day. Suka, bilet. Now this phrase is your key to being accepted into CSGO community. As is the standard, go into competitive match, scream rush B, suka, bilet, and wait for your MVP. Now this phrase originally means uh, fucking bitch in Russian, but since the invention of the internet and CSGO, it has become more like a multi-tool. Blin. Most used word by Boris ever. Original meaning pancake. So you want to know why Russians say blin? Because blin is the family friendly version of the word blyat. So let's say you are at family dinner, everybody is around, and you spill your hot borscht soup onto your lap. And you scream, I blin! But then you remember, mama is right here. So in mid phrase, you use all your slav power and convert your blyat into a blin, like I blin! Well, at least that's how I say it. Иди нахуй! This one, not multi-tool. You just say fuck off. So imagine this. It's 6 in the morning, you go to bus, and someone take your seat, and you say, иди нахуй! And he go away. Or you get fight, you know, it's 50-50. But for advanced student, I suggest you try, иди нахуй, пожалуйста. Might get better results. This brings us to our next word. Пожалуйста. It means please. But pay attention, friends. The E is silent. So you say пожалуйста, not пожалуйста. So let's use this in sample. Купить мне АВП, пожалуйста. Блять. This means buy me fucking AVP rifle. You use this because you want to conserve money and don't want to be asshole who bankrupt the whole team. Извини. It means sorry. Definitely good to use when you go rush A. But then you remember, your Russian teammates clearly said rush B. And you don't want to look like asshole. So you catch up with others and say, oh, it's been here. And it's all good. Tavarich means comrade. A good friendly word to use. So next time you say, Tavarich, пожалуйста, купить мне AVP. This means comrade, please buy me AVP rifle. And you say that instead of, I'm not very good London. And it's all good. До свидания means goodbye. So unless you want to be asshole and just quit after the competitive match, you say хорошая игра and до свидания. And this brings us to next phrase. Хорошая игра. Good game. Even if actually it was really bad game and you lost and dropped 7 ranks, and you still want to say хорошая игра. Maybe it makes you feel better. Ёб твою мать. Literally means fuck your mother or fuck your mother. But generally as a swear word it means Fuck or fuck off. It's maybe even one of those phrases that you find yourself saying to yourself when the PC crashes again. And then you get banned from competitive matches for 7 fucking days. Yup, you might. Sabaka. Generally it just means dog. But even if you call someone a dog in English, it sounds bad. So imagine saying that in Russian. It also of course depends on your tone and the context. But actually calling someone Sabaka is a bad thing. Compot. What is compot? Well, compot is the Russian Coca-Cola. You go to grandmama's house, compot. You sit at dinner table, ask mama, do we have orange juice? No, compot. You in store with mama, you ask, can we buy Coca-Cola? No, compot. And then you go home and drink compot. Thank you for watching, friends. Keep it cheeky bricky. Chicky, bricky.